Okay, it's me. Hey guys, it's Brie, welcome back to my channel. We're not gonna drag this out, we're gonna get right to it because we got a few things that we need to talk about. <sighs> so clearly Fenty is here to snatch coins, collect wallets, collect credit cards, saving accounts. They, they don't really care where the money's coming from, but they're coming for it, okay? Fenty is literally about to drown us in complexion products. And I mean, I'm kind of here for it, you know? I'm, I'm kind of here for it. I was debating whether or not I was gonna do this review, only because this product didn't really pique my interest the way that Fenty products usually do. Not to say that I didn't think it was gonna be good, but I don't feel like this product was necessarily marketed for someone like me. Let me just give you a little background. My under eyes, they don't play fair. It's not a game when it comes to my under eyes. It's the biggest area of concern for me on my face. When you start talking about light to medium concealer coverage, I'm kind of just like, pump your brakes. What am I really concealing if it's light to medium coverage? Like, make it make sense. I do know that a lot of you guys are interested in this product, so I had to go ahead, cop it, review it. This one's for you guys. I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown of what Bright Fix actually is. It's an under eye brightener that hydrates, brightens, and conceals with sheer to buildable coverage, delivering a no makeup makeup effect and long wear formula. So there are 16 shades of this new Bright Fix and it looks like about four of the shades are specifically used to correct the under eyes and then the rest of the shades are actual concealer shades. I picked up one of the corrector shades for you guys and I picked up a concealer shade just to see how these two would layer on top of each other and also how they would wear alone. And I think that based off today's video, I have a pretty I have a pretty solid opinion on how I feel about this product. So before we get started, if you guys wanted to know the price point, it's $25 and there is 0.34 fluid ounces. Pro Filter Concealer has 0.27 fluid ounces, so this actually has just a little bit more product, which is nice. Since this is a very sheer formula, a lot more people can get away with using the same shade. If it was a full coverage product, then we expect to see more than 16 shades. Now before we start this video, listen here. C come here, let me talk to you. These Fenty videos are starting to add up, okay? So if you're not subscribed to my channel, but you're watching my Fenty videos, subscribe, okay? Even if you're new here, just just click subscribe, okay? It's not easy being, being a small channel, it's just not. Your girl ain't on PR, she's not getting the products for free. These are honest opinions and, um, do your due diligence, because I did mine. Let's get started in the video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use just the concealer shade underneath my eye alone, because I'm sure that a lot of people don't wanna have to go to the store and buy two $25 products just for their under eye. Like no, nobody, the coinage. Nobody wants to spend their coins on two of these. We're gonna start with the concealer shade alone just to see what this light to medium concealer actually does under the eye. So you guys can see the applicator is real cute, it's clear. It looks like it's gonna fit under the eye really nicely to just dot the product on. We can get into this, it's different. I'm starting with the shade Almond Butter, which is number 12. Let's go ahead and see if this little light coverage business is gonna work because I'm, I'm not convinced yet. Okay. I added kind of a lot. I've been seeing people using their finger to blend this out, so I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much do the same thing, similar to the eavesdrop. It distributes nicely. It's kind of on the more liquidy side. This shade is like a really good match for my skin. All right, that is one layer, just using my fingers, and it's definitely a light coverage. And this shade is neutral. So I do see a little bit of pinkiness in the shade. The coverage is not, it's not giving the girl too much though. It's not, I don't know if it's actually giving me enough of what I need. But maybe those of you guys that, you know, don't struggle like me, maybe y'all would like this. But I could see for like a quick touch up, just running to the store and you don't really wanna do too much makeup, I could see how this would work. But the formula is definitely on the more loose side. Mm. Can y'all see this right here? Where I was like, I accidentally moved my finger the wrong way. The product moves around a lot. So I definitely feel like you would have to set this to prevent it from moving everywhere. But the good thing about it is that it just 
blends itself out really, really easily. If you have dry skin, you might be able to get away with not setting it, but I would definitely recommend you better powder them bad boys before you go out in the street. All right, so I just zoomed in so y'all can see how I'm looking with just the concealer shade under my eye. I mean, for a light coverage, it's not bad. I definitely could see myself throwing it on real quick if I was just running out. But, you know, I typically like a little bit more coverage because these areas in here, they, you know, it's just, it's violent under here for me. It's just, it's a violent area and we need, we need more enforcement when it comes to this, you know? It's a lot of crime happening here. We don't like that. Okay. Before I go ahead and just move on to the next step, I'm going to wipe it off and I want to see if y'all can see a difference from one side to the other. All right, so here we are. Y'all should be able to tell a slight difference, but it's not, it ain't enough for me, okay? I'm not gonna lie to y'all, but it's cute for those of you guys that don't have this kind of situation ship on your face. So now I'm gonna add the ease drop and I'm gonna start doing my foundation like I normally would. Usually I would put this on first. And if y'all haven't seen my video on this, what? You guys need to check out my video on this because because you need to check it out and that's all I'm gonna say on that, okay? I'm just gonna blend this in with my finger. I feel like that's the quickest way to get this blended in. This skin is giving skin. It's giving natural, okay? It's giving flaws wear. <laughs> natural glow. Who put makeup on? Like, not me. Don't wear that. Ew. Now I'm going to be using pumpkin number 13 and I'm going to go ahead and use this as a corrector because we want to see what she's really about. I'm going to be using it on both sides. So we're up close and personal, all up in my space. Ah! I'm going to use my finger again. I don't know if I'll be able to use this with my finger the whole time though, because I really want to reach for my sponge right now and I'm trying not to. Like I really want to reach for my sponge right now. A little bit of this product definitely goes a long way. Y'all saw how that just spread out and I only use like three tiny little dots. Um, and I kind of feel like I'm having a hard time getting a small amount of this product out because it's a little squeeze tube. That's a lot of product there. We're here now and I look stupid. I didn't mean to do this. This is too much. It's too much. So when you apply this, less. Don't, don't do all this, okay? It's unnecessary, you don't need to do that. Now it's all over the place, so I'm gonna have to make it work. Damn it! Y'all, and it keeps blending out. It keeps blending out even further. All right, I'm gonna use my sponge to kind of try to take some of this away, because this is way too much. The more I touch it, like the more it just gets everywhere. I put too much. Put too much. I want to see if this is going to dry down though, because I feel like it's not really drying down. It's kind of staying a little moist. On my left side, I'm going to use the Pro Filter Concealer, and this is in the shade 370. I'm going to have to use more than I normally would since I accidentally put so much. Oh yeah, see that's the kind of, that's the coverage I need. But I will say that since this corrector did not dry down, I kind of feel like instead of this just layering on top, it kind of just mixed into my concealer and it changed the shade of my concealer a little bit. So I'm adding just a little bit to kind of get back to that concealer shade. It looks more peachy under here than normal, but I mean, I'm guessing it's because I used way too much, you know user error. I want to go ahead and set my under eye right away so I don't get any creases because yeah I get creasy under here and we don't want that. That definitely did something like it made my under eye look very nice. Let me find out this corrector is going to be a part of my routine. So now I'm going to add almond butter on top. Okay now it's drying down a little bit. It's trying to dry down. 
and I'm gonna use my finger again. I feel like the sponge might soak this product in too much, so I'm gonna start with my finger first again. And if I need to, then I'll use my sponge. All right guys, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This just turned into peach concealer and that's not what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna wipe this off and I'm gonna try it again. All right, we're gonna try it again and I'm gonna just do two small dots and then I'll get a real true opinion of it. This is typically where I would apply my color corrector in the area that I have darkness and leave it right here because I really don't want the orange to be spread out all over the place. I'm gonna give this a little minute before I try to add anything else on top and then we'll be able to tell for real what it does. All right, I just gave this a full minute for it to dry down and now I'm gonna go ahead and add almond butter on top and hopefully it does not change the color because I actually really like the shade of almond butter. They did a really good job with this shade. Yeah, that's better, okay? It's definitely better with less of the corrector. But I just, I don't know, I feel like this is a little bit too liquidy for me. It's really, really liquidy. Rihanna was using her fingers to blend this out and it's just not, I can't, I, I don't feel like I can make that work. Now I'm gonna use my sponge to kind of clean this up because I don't feel like I'm doing a good enough job with my finger. Let me add a little bit more right here oh that was too much i don't feel like i have enough control okay that's literally the best that i can do blending this out on this side with these two layered on top i'm gonna tell y'all right now i don't like them layered on top i i don't it's it's i don't like it laid on top but i'm gonna set it now with my powder You can definitely see that this side is the sheer coverage side. This side is more full coverage. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup and come back and give you guys my thoughts. Okay, so my full face of makeup is done. And as I'm looking at myself, I just feel like this side, like it just, it's not giving me what I need. Now, before any of you guys come in my comments about how this is a light coverage, like I don't wanna hear it, cause I already know. For someone like me that struggles with under eye darkness if I'm gonna buy this kind of concealer it's really just gonna be for just a quick pick-me-up before I go out getting two of these to mix them one on top of the other is it ain't gonna happen boo. the coverage is too sheer to be buying two of these to layer on top of each other this side is definitely giving a bright fix it's giving the brightness that I need this side over here is looking almost like I did not conceal at all I really like the shade of the color corrector in Pumpkin. I would definitely pair that with the Pro Filter concealer because I feel like together these two work really well if you wanted to layer. I really do feel like Pumpkin is going to add to my makeup routine and not just be an unnecessary extra step. So personally, I would say pick one of them. Pick a concealer shade if you just want very minimal coverage or pick a corrector shade if you want to layer it with, you know, a nice concealer and also I wanted to note really fast you guys remember when I had like put way too much of that bright fix color corrector under my eye yeah it was too much product under here so I did notice significantly more creasing on this side than I see on this side the good thing about the bright fix is that once you set it because the product is so sheer you're not gonna really get a lot of creasing like you normally would if you apply too much of your concealer under your eyes so yeah those are my thoughts guys let me know in the comments what you guys think my personal opinion would be go ahead and get that corrector shake this is this is what we really needed. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel for yet another Fenty review. I really appreciate the support that y'all give me because you know, it makes my little day. And if you're new here and you enjoyed my video, make sure you subscribe because we don't just walk up out of here without subscribing, okay? Like once you're in, you're in. Got my sticky little fingers on you now, so you gotta go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you guys catch me on Instagram. It's Breeze Louise and you guys most likely can catch me there being active when I'm not here on YouTube. So. Go do that and I'll see you guys in the next one.